What's up you guys, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a $2,500 budget trailer build. So if you're starting your pressure washing business and you don't know where to go with your trailer, you don't have a ton of money, this is gonna be the video for you. Kale's gonna be walking us through exactly what's on this trailer. But before we get into this one, if you guys wanna learn how to build a trailer setup like this, check the first link in the comment section and the description. It's gonna be a link to our how to wash course that me, Mike Vidan, Cody from Southeast Softwash, and Aaron from Aaron's Lean Man Academy put together. It's gonna to show you guys how to build this, how to wash every surface you're gonna encounter on a residence residential job as well as how to mix your chemicals so check it out first link in the comment section in the description but without further ado let's go ahead and check out the trailer setup all right you guys this is kale uh we've been doing a ton of work together recently and today he's going to show us his budget trailer build the reason why we're showing it to you like this though is because we're about to do a bunch of updates to it so kale kind of walk us through uh each element of the trailer how much it costs and how guys can really put together a budget build like this to start off our business we uh wanted to start with a trailer instead of a skid so we went ahead and we were able to source this trailer off of a family member for free, just letting us use it. And uh, eventually said, just keep it. You know, he got another one. Came with the toolbox on it so we could store all of our stuff, our wands, uh, different attachments, J-rods, ball valves, different things. Went ahead and we wet up some plates on it to get our hose reels mounted. We got our hose reel. It was roughly probably 200 bucks, 200 bucks for 200 foot of double braid hose pressure washer is a simpson 4000 three and a half gallon that we're looking to upgrade in the future but it gets the job done now that was roughly 800 dollars with our military discount so you're looking at roughly about a thousand or so without it and for guys who think that they can't start a pressure washing business with like a four gallon a minute kale how much money have you guys made with this oh this thing here has made us tens of thousands tens and tens of thousands of dollars right and you guys just got started a couple months back right yeah roughly eight eight and a half months okay sweet so this setup has ran for about eight and a half months so far and you guys were pulling this around before you put it on the trailer build right yeah if we're looking at around for about the first i don't know a couple weeks until we got everything situated on the trailer and uh then we decided to mount it up on the trailer really until we got this hose reel and everything set we were kind of lugging it around rolling hoses up by hand but anything to make the money so absolutely each of our tanks uh, about 100 bucks a piece on facebook marketplace mounted them on here with some ratchet straps down with some um eye hooks to the trailer we did have this ladder before we have a couple of our brooms and soft bristle brushes to get us through the jobs. We have a hose reel box with a 100 foot from Lowe's. And the hose is about $60. The crate was about, say, 80. But it gets the job done, you know, you do have to lug it back and forth to the house and hook it up and stretch your hose to the trailer to run everything. But that is something we're looking to upgrade is get a hose reel to feed freight straight from the trailer to the house. So we got the sign. Uh, we kind of did a little deal with our local sign shop. We washed his house and some of the shop and he gave us $600 off. So this sign was free and we have another sign we have up on the corner of my property in town. And that one, I think we paid about $300 for that one because he knocked a little bit off for the wash. And we do have a tote. This is probably $10, $15. Just store all of our, all of our different, you know, for the feed hose we do have our tarps in there for tarping any plants or anything for property protection surface cleaner four hundred dollars from our local pressure wash supply warehouse and that's a whisper wash 20 inch right kill yeah 20 inch. now a lot of people said that you shouldn't run a 20 inch service cleaner on you know anything less than eight gallons a minute what do you think about that kill i think it does great i mean it does what it has to do it gets the job done especially we we pre-treat the concrete, we hit it with this and we post-treat and we've never had any issues. All the lines disappear, you know. It may take a little longer, but in the end it gets the job done and it's made us tens of thousands of dollars. A 20 foot ladder mounted on top. That was, I believe, 140 bucks at Walmart. And we also have a 30 that we already owned before. Uh, we keep that at the house just ready to roll on some of the bigger jobs that we may need it for. And we went ahead and plumbed everything on the trailer and we put in a four-way valve system just because we're batch mixing and we run our roof wash batch off the front and our house wash batch off the back. So we do have a valve system to be able to pull from each of the tank, you know, to swap it out. And so just to be clear, neither one of these is a water tank. They're both chemical no, tanks. No, they are both chemical tanks and that's what we're looking to upgrade because we do have a blend manifold we're gonna switch over to and try to lighten up the load. It is a little heavy sometimes when you have both tanks quite full for a single axle, but uh, something we're looking to upgrade. But this is this is the way to go. I mean, you're looking to get in for fairly cheap. This is not a bad way to go. Soft wash hose, 
We are running a 5 8 Flexzilla, 200 foot, and it's $60 per 100 foot. And then tractor supply, we've ended up picking up this hose reel for 80 bucks. It's not ideal for it because it does come with brass fittings and everything, but we've been able to run for eight months and this is only our second one and we're just now starting to have some small issues with leaking and stuff but for 160 dollars and the amount of money that we've made off of it it's not a bad way to start and kind of build your account so we do have that reduced down to our Sutner soft wash gun and we are running the soap nozzle tip it's pretty good i'd say the gun build and everything was roughly I don't know, 40 bucks 50 bucks we do carry five gallons of surfactant for our roof wash we do carry a backpack uh, pump sprayer for any degreasers on any jobs where we're in you know coming across any like dumpster pads uh gas stations anything like that where there may be oil grease things of that nature we picked up this box for about 15 dollars and that's what how we keep our pump and everything out of the weather so we do have a seven gallon per minute delavan pump with a deep cycle marine battery it's all wired in to a switch that's on the outside and it gets the job done pump was roughly $245 I don't remember quite what the battery price was but let's just say another hundred dollars which isn't wiring roughly another 20 30 bucks sweet kill so this is like the definition of a budget build you know we did some work to get the signage on the back we got the trailer for free um we started off with a four gallon a minute which we were hauling around and now sits on here so uh now that we kind of got the bud the budget build out of the way tell us what's coming up for this build in the future and what you know what you hope to do with it so we do plan on going ahead and stripping this trailer down we're going to keep the single axle we had played around with the idea of a tandem axle i uh, think we're going to go ahead and keep the single and we're going to move over to a bleach tank and a water tank and a surfactant tank and we're going to blend manifold we are going to go ahead and put all of our hose reels on one side to make it easier because it is a little hard dragging the pressure washing hose across or the soft wash hose across vice versa Hopefully it's more efficient with the blend manifold and stuff we won't be carrying as much weight we will be able to drain that tank and uh, we'll have that float valve in our water tank to kind of help out and get to right where we need to be to wash and everything. And just to lighten the load a little bit so we're not bending axles and then having to go buy a trailer. You know, that may be something else for the future, but we're gonna do small upgrades to this trailer, see if it can make us, you know, some more money and upgrade in the future. Every guest gets to pick the word of the day, man. What'd you like the word of the day to be? We gotta go and make that money. Make that money. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below, make that money and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin, it's Forever Self Employed. Y'all be sure to go check out Kale's channel. I'll leave a link in the comment section and the description. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.